everyone. My name is Jennifer Stay. And I'm Steve Stay. And this is Coloring Bliss, and today it's a head-to-head -head battle. Prismacolor Premier versus Color It Premium. This <laughs> set right here, they have a brand new set. So the first part of this video, we're going to take some time to compare this new set with their older, first original set of color pencils. Are they better? I don't know, they gotta watch to find out. And then we'll do the head-to-head -head and see how they compare to the Prismacolor premieres. Now, I've been accused before that some of these battles are not fair. It's like comparing apples to oranges. <laughs> but I still think these are all color pencils, so we can compare them all we want. It wouldn't be fair if I compared, like, Copic markers to color it pencils. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is a good head-to-head. -head. We're going to learn a lot together. So let's get started. Before we get started, I need to give you a quick disclaimer. We are not sponsored here at Coloring Bliss. I bought this set of pencils right here with my own money, and I like to do that because that way you can be assured that I am unbiased and I'm coming at it from a true consumer's perspective. Now, in the past, oh, maybe like over five years ago, the very first set of Color It pencils I ever got was gifted to me. But this one I bought with my own money, and same with this one right here. Now I have a second piece of business to share with you, and that's that our giant, massive, ultimate Prismacolor color pencil giveaway is still going on. But I believe today, March 2nd, 2022, is your last chance to get your entries in. I think we're almost to a $300 value for this giveaway, you guys. <laughs> it's spectacular. <laughs> so follow the link in the video description, get your entries in. And if you are watching this past March 2nd, don't worry, just make sure you have subscribed and hit that notification bell because we have more awesome giveaways planned and I'm so excited. And my third and final piece of business before we get started is I have some new coloring pages for you to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. This one right here is uh, one from 2018 that I drew, and it's available for a limited time for free. So if you'd like to color this charming little fellow, then follow the link in the video description to get this free download. Now we also have a two new pieces of art that we're adding to the premium library. And this one is a new Bliss artist. Her name is Alia, and she has drawn this adorable little girl here with a cute little little Irish little <laughs> frog. It's so adorable. <laughs> so if you'd like this one, it's part of the premium library, including this one, which is also one of our Bliss artists that we've used before. So lots of great art. The premium library has hundreds of coloring pages and it's just five bucks a month for you to become a member over there. And don't forget that when you become a member at Coloring Bliss, it supports us so that I can continue to purchase with my own money sets like this so I can do more reviews for you in the future. So come on over, support us, and have fun coloring. All right, it's time for the battle. And the first thing I needed to do was unbox this brand new box. I've already unboxed it, but you're gonna watch me unbox this, swatch the pencils, do some comparing between the old and the new color at line, and then we'll dive in to the head-to-head -head battle and find out who wins, Prismacolor or Color It. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is unbox my new set of Color It Color Pencils. I'm really excited to sort of do a quick comparison between the old set that I had from ages ago and this new set, and we'll see what the differences are. This is the new box, so let's compare the packaging here. So this was my old box, just had the butterfly, and now it has this wording here on the box. Other than that, oh, and the side spine looks a little different right here, new and old. And then the backs are new and different. This is the new, and this is the old box. Okay, then inside, let's get in here. One of the things that Color has always done well is their packaging. That's from like day one, we were always really impressed with the packaging that they provided. So we'll see how it's 
how it feels. It still has, I think this old one had a magnet, yeah. So it still has the magnet closure right here on the white box. They call this like your gifting box. These boxes are so great to hang on to and use for just random pencil supplies in your art studio area. Now this is new. It didn't come with this. This they're calling uh, a stand. And from what I understand, it's just a piece of cardboard with some holes in it so you can stand your pencils up in it. For the way I color here in my studio or at my chair downstairs, um, this wouldn't be very helpful to me. So this is not a necessary upgrade in my opinion, but maybe some of you use this and are excited about it. Now also they came with a little sample here and this, they publish coloring books as well and this is a little mini book for you to test your pencils in. So it's um, it's a decent paper. It's not the best and not super great texture on it, but it is fun to have a little sample of some of the art that they provide. So that's cool. And now we're getting to the good stuff. Again, Color has always been really good with their cases and the way that they have provided storage for us for our pencils. So you have a nice nylon case. A nice zipper closure. It ran really smooth and easy. Has a little pull on it. I think that might be different. Let's take a peek. Oh no! Same case. Exactly the same case, same pull as before. And from all the literature I read, like I said earlier, these are supposed to be um, more brilliant in color and just work better, this set of new pencils. So we're going to find out. Now it comes with a little sharpener and this is a little different from the sharpener that I received. And way back when, when I did my review of this, this pencil sharpener broke like the second pencil I put in it. I was so disappointed because I think this is a brilliant idea to have a pencil sharpener that fits and is built in and goes with you with your case. I think that's brilliant. So I was really sad when this one broke. So we'll put this one to the test and see if it works better than our old one. I wanna pop it out real quick and see if it's got a German blade. If it is German, it's not labeled and every good blade I've ever seen that is from Germany has the name made in Germany on the actual blade. So I'm guessing this is not a German made blade. So we'll see how it does. Okay, so this is my old set right here. I'm looking to see if the case is identical. Has two leaves and this has two leaves. So yeah, the case is identical. The pencils, let's see how they look. I'm going to grab the first pencil in the set right here. And this is how the old pencils looked had the name, the color at logo, and the number, and then it's dipped um, at the end so you know what color you're holding in your hand. And let's see if we can find the same pencil, C001. Is that this one? Yep, right here in the old set. So I think, let's see, they have kept the same print here on the end, but the names are a little bit bigger on the new one, and the logo is a little bit different. Let's see if the actual um, size of the pencil has changed. So here is the old pencil from the old set, and we've got my digital calipers zeroed out, and we will check the size here. So it's coming in at 704. I just measure it in a couple places, 705, 707. So anywhere between 7.04 and 7.07 .07 on the size of this pencil. This is their new pencil here. So it's a bigger pencil. We have 7.33, 7.33, 7.33, 7.33. So anywhere between 7.31 and 7.33. So that's 0.3 
millimeters bigger than their old set. Now to measure the core is always super tricky, you guys. Um, so we just make our best guess here. So this is the new pencil. I've got it at about 3.05. This is the old one, which really needs sharpening. So let's go ahead and use their new pencil sharpener. So far that pencil sharpener is working good. Okay, let's see what the old pencil core size right here is measuring at. Kind of give it a twirl. 3.04, and what did I say on the other one? About the same. So the core size hasn't changed, but the overall size of the pencil has gotten a little bigger. So the next question I have, is the colors in this set the same as the colors in this set? When you read all their literature online about this new set of color pencils they've released, they are proclaiming that they are more vibrant in color. So that's one of the things I want to know. So we have both here C001 Blue Wave from both sets. This is the old set right here. I'm also going to kind of pay attention to feel and crumbs, that kind of thing. And here is the new pencil. Oh, it's definitely a different color. This one's got way more yellow in it, a very different color. So it's, I don't know, um, yeah. Are they all going to be different colors? I'll put old here and new here. Crumminess, it seems about the same. The feel of them. If anything, they're pretty similar. But I think, is this the old one? The old one actually feels a little smoother. This one, the new one feels a little grittier. So it's probably a new formula that they've put in here. Remember, all color pencils are a mix of oils, waxes, pigments, and other binders. And so when you pick out, um, when, they, when they pick out from the Chinese manufacturer what kind of pencils they want, they get to choose certain things. This feels a little different. So it's not only just a bit of a different color, we've got a different feel going on. So we'll see if that's consistent as we swatch, which is the next thing I need to do. Let's get these pencils swatched. I'm in the middle of doing a really rough sort of these pencils and ran into one of the new ones that has no markings, no name, no number, not even a logo, just a blank pencil. I wonder if I'll find more of those or will this just be one? The first thing I wanted to do was get the new set of pencils into some sort of order because I didn't like the order they came in. So I'm trying to put them from yellow to yellow orange to orange um, all the way through the color wheel. And once I get them roughly in order, then I go back to the old set and I'm going through and looking to see if there is a color for each of the new colors. So is it exactly the same set? And I got the old set all in the same order as the new set. So now we can start to swatch. For the swatching, I'm going to be working in this book. It's volume one, Swatch Bliss, available at coloringbliss.com. And it's printed on my awesome color pencil paper. So it will give the best advantage to these pencils as possible as I swatch them out and see how the colors look.
had some extra room at the bottom of the swatching page, so what I've decided to do is do a little new color versus old color. As I've been working with them, I've realized that they all have the same names and numbers, but the colors are different. So I just picked a random 18 pencils here. I've already colored out the old, and now I'm going to color out the new color above it, and we'll see how they compare. Okay, swatching's all done for um, the full new set and then our comparative 18 that I did between the old and the new. So let's start there. Let's look at the differences between the old and the new. I'm going to have Steve come over so he can see them too and help me look at them. We're gonna look at them one row at a time here. So the top here is the new and this here is the old. So like I said before, it's same name, same numbers, but the colors are very different. Like that's a bluer red, wouldn't you agree, Steve? Yeah. Different yellow. If anything, the new ones seem to have a little more pigment or something. Yeah. Okay, here we go again. Here's the new row and the old row. They're certainly similar. I mean, they're not like completely different colors, but... Yeah, this one's really blue compared to yeah. that one. Yeah. There's a few that are really different and then some that not so much. Okay, here's the new row, the old row. I think this one here is a good example of yeah. better pigment now in the new set. Now this last row, I made a mistake. Sorry, everybody. So we gotta flip our brains here. The top is the old now and the bottom is the new. Look how different those two are. Oh, wow. And the gold is yeah, a prettier gold. gold yeah. I wanted to move it in the light and see if the old or the new had better shine. I think there's a bit of glitter in the new. It's not just a metallic shine. There's some oh, yeah. glitter going on. So it's totally different. So that's my first thing I want to let you know. If you have the old set of Color It Color pencils and you're wondering, do I need the new set? It's a new set of colors, um, but they're still the same 72, so they're really heavy in the reds. Let's take a look at the new pencils. So here's the new pencils, and you can see, like, pretty much from here. I had some trouble. You can see my, my order by color wheel wasn't very accurate like there's blues up here where they should be with the violets but I did my best um, but there is a ton of reds in this set really heavy in the reds uh, there's some okay greens I think overall my feeling is it's a good mid-tone set. We're kind of missing some really good deeps and some really good lights. There's a few moments of a light and you're like, yes, but not everywhere. Like again, there's not a really good, really light blue. This is our closest thing to a light blue here. And is there a really good deep dark blue? Not really, it's more these mid-tone type blues. So it's kind of typical of the Chinese sets, especially a set of 72. We're not like 150 or 200 pencils. So they've kind of stuck to the mid-tone with a couple lights here and there, a couple darks here and there. So that's the kind of color variety you would get in the new Color at 72 Premium Color Pencil Set. So to help us with our comparison chore here, where we're going to put head-to-head um, -head Prismacolor Premier and Color It Premium pencils, we have a two-page download that is free for all of you to come and get. It helps you score and compare two different lines of color pencils. Two pages, free, the link is in the video description. I've got my first page just printed on a standard copy paper and the second page where we're going to be doing some testing printed on a really high quality color pencil paper so that we can see them perform at their best. First thing I need to do is fill out the names of the brands on the top and then we can get started on the tests between the two lines of color pencils. 
First up, with step number one, we need to color out 10 color swatches from each line, just a random selection of colors to see how they lay down and how beautiful the colors are. I'm also paying attention to crumbs, any breaking issues, how the pencil fills in my hand, all those things while I'm doing these 10 color swatches. For step two, I'm going to use a black alcohol marker to fill in the square. And then on top of that, we'll put down the white pencil and see just how opaque they are. In step three, I want to see just how pretty the black pencil is. So we're going to use heavy pressure and fill in the rectangle. For step number four, we want to see how opaque some of the other colors are in each line. So we're going to fill this rectangle with black alcohol marker first, and then swatch on top with a variety of colors. Step five is counting the number of layers you can lay down in a rectangle until you reach full coverage. We're going to sharpen the pencil we choose and use light layers to count this out. So let's see how many layers we can get. And also remember this isn't just about how many layers we can get, but how many layers it takes until we reach full coverage. We're looking for both things during this test. For test six, I'm going to be really paying attention to the amount of crumbs that these pencils are producing. So in the first rectangle, I'm going to do light pressure. Second rectangle, medium pressure, and the third rectangle gets heavy pressure. Let's check out these crumbs. Test seven is all about how well the pigment stays on the paper once you've colored it down. Does it smear, does it smudge? So I'm going to use my left thumb for the Prismacolor Premier and my right thumb for the Color It Premium. Let's see how these work. For test eight, we want to see how water soluble the pencils are. So both of these pencils are basically standard color pencils and they shouldn't activate too much with water. Although all pencils tend to be a little bit water soluble. Let's see which one wins this one. Number nine, we're going to test the blending, uh, how these pencils come together. I'm going to use Jennifer's rule of blending thirds and pick three colors and let's do a blend test. All right, we're done with the practical tests here. I wanted to just take a second. I'm gonna brush off the crumbs, but I wanted to point out the crumb issue. I already brushed the crumbs off of the actual crumb test, but up here I on purpose didn't brush off the crumbs so that I could show you the difference. Now, this was a lot of layering, a lot of opportunities for crumbs to appear, and you can see there are some crumbs on the Prismacolor side, but not nearly as many. Look how messy the crumbs are here on the color it side. Okay, now I can brush it all off and let's move over to page one of the scoring chart and start analyzing all of our results here. So I've got Steve here to help me. He's gonna keep me honest. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just another set of eyes to look at all of the results. This top section right here is all about sort of general information about each set of pencils. So I highly recommend you print this off because your answers may be opposite of my answers. For instance, first one, availability in your area. For me, the Prismacolor premieres are available at my local Walmart, at my craft stores. On Amazon, they're really easy for me to get, but I know that's not true for everyone all over the world. So for me, I'm going to give a score, a check, to availability being better for Prismacolor Premier. So Color It's not going to get a check here. The only way I can get Color It is via Amazon or their website. So I'm going to give Prismacolor the win on that one. The second one, best price value in your area. I need to do a little math. I'll be right back. Now these prices that I got, remember, are via Amazon and here in the US. So again, this might be a different thing for you. So for me right now, the full set, all 150 in their nice little box, comes to $120 for Prismacolor Premier. That's 80 cents per pencil. Now the Color It pencils, again on Amazon, full set is $40, but that's only 72 pencils, but that comes in at 56 cents per pencil. We're gonna talk about packaging here on the next one because that's a big deal. But price value wise, that means that Color It wins. 
they get better price. Okay, next one that we're going to look at is best quality packaging. Now we've already talked, as I did the unboxing, about the great packaging that color it comes in. You get that really nice white box with the magnetic closure, and you get a canvas case that holds a pencil sharpener, and it comes with a pencil sharpener. That's pretty cool. Prismacolor comes in a similar box as far as it's a cardboard box with a magnetic closing, but then it has just plastic trays inside. That's all you get. So color it, you win for packaging. It's awesome, it's really good. And I have been using their little um, sharpener this entire time. It feels wimpy in my hand and it broke two pencils, but they could have been um, quick to break anyway. And both of those pencils it broke were the color pencils. It didn't hurt any of the Prismacolor pencils. So I would say that this is a decent cheap sharpener. I wouldn't count on it for sitting down to sharpen 150 pencils in a <laughs> row, but having it in the case when you're out coloring somewhere like in a doctor's office or something, really handy. And the last time, like I said before, that pencil sharpener broke within just a few pencils, so it's doing better than last time. So, yep, packaging goes to um, color it. But now, open stock availability. This means if I use up all of this little green guy, as you can see, he's getting a little short. Here, this Prismacolor Premier pencil, I can go and order just him and replace just one pencil at a time. That's what open stock means. So Prismacolor has their Prismacolor Premier pencils available open stock. Color it doesn't, so if I I use up this yellow green right here. I'm kind of out of luck. <laughs> I have to buy the whole set in order to get that exact yellow green. Now, I want to address real quick that there are rumors going around right now that Prismacolor is going to discontinue their open stock availability for their color pencils. I called and talked to Prismacolor personally and didn't get there all. I can neither um, confirm or deny, deny <laughs> that rumor, so that wasn't helpful. So Steve called up Blick, right? Yeah. And talked to... Uh, the product specialist there. Ah, a product specialist. And they told him that Prismacolor is moving away from open stock for almost every product they have except the Prismacolor Premier Pencils. Is that true or not? Only time will tell, but that's the rumors. You've got the tea. <laughs> so I'm going to give Prismacolor the point because they are available open stock. Okay. Steve will put it back down here. Pencil appearance and info. So that's basically, do the pencils have the names, the numbers, are they easy to read? Um, do they have any additional information? For instance, polychromos will have light fast information on their pencils. As far as information available on both of these pencils, it's about the same. You get a name, you get a number, and you get the brand. So that's about the same. Um, both are equally difficult to read <laughs> because of the, the hated metallic writing. But yeah, so I would say they're equal with both appearance. I like the dipped end, although the caps, the colors do not count on those because that's why my, my swatching looked so messy because I was sort of looking at the ends and it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give a point to both because they're about equal in their appearance. Core size. We know that the Prismacolor Premiers have a larger core than the Colorets, so they get the point. Number of colors available. Again, Prismacolor beats them out. There's 150 colors here and 72 over here. Light fast statistics. There are no light fast statistics <laughs> for the color at line. They're just made in China, so I doubt any testing has been done. There are light fast information, there is light fast information available for the Prismacolor. Now, these are not super great light fast pencils. We all know that. If you want a really good light fast pencil, you gotta go to a different brand. But there is information available here, so they've been tested, and if you were to use it for a professional situation where you want your colors to last a long time, I would guide you here before over to the color at size. So Prismacolor wins my point for that one. 
Now we get to look at the tests and decide how we did here. Now this is a little bit more subjective, so I would love you to vote um, below if you think I um, didn't look at them correctly or not. But I've got Steve here, he's gonna help me with this. So test one, which of the color swatches do you prefer? So I tried to get sort of a similar color group on both sides. So they were, you know, a similar-ish red and that kind of thing. So we can look at the way the color is colored down. Do you like the colors on the left or do you like the colors on the right? You know, I like the way these color down better. If you look in the areas like I do heavy pressure on the left and then gradiate to a light pressure on the right. If you look at 905, look how thick and full that color laid down on the left. Now look at the blue green over here and you can see I struggled to get a nice heavy thick layer of pencils on the left. It's kind of true for every pencil. So as far as coloring down, they're doing better, but the color choices, they I think they're both really, they're really nice. Pretty, yeah. yeah. Overall, I'm much happier with the color colors in this new set than the old set. So I'm gonna give them both a point because I think they both have beautiful colors. And later we'll talk more about how they color down and we can, you know, work with that. So both of them are going to get a point for pretty colors. Which white is most opaque on black? So this is Prismacolor Premier, and this is Color It Premium. Which white is covering more of the black? I think it's pretty obvious Prismacolor wins that. If you want to know more about white pencils and, and how I have a, a love-hate relationship with finding a good white pencil, we have an entire video where we compared, I don't know, maybe it was over 60 brands of white pencils. <laughs> it was a lot. So go check out that video. All right, Prismacolor gets that point. Which black has the truest black value? So for that, make sure there's no crumbs. I'm going to bring up my color wheel, which has a handy um, black value to gray scale value chart. That was a weird way of saying that, but you get it. It shows you straight from black all the way to white on a value scale. So what we can do here is slide that in and look at the black compared to both value one and two. It's usually where the blacks land is somewhere between or either a one or a two and see what we think about this. I'm trying to get it out of the glare for you. I think it's a good value one. Yeah. I would give it a value one. So over here, it leans a little grayer, but it's still a good value, don't you think? What would you say, Steve? He's keeping me honest. Well, if if you had to pick one, I mean, I would go with the Prismacolor. Yeah, the it looks, it's, it's a richer black. Yeah, if you look at them, it's definitely a richer black, and it's laying down better because of, it's a creamier formula. But the so. color of black, that's a beautiful black. Yeah, I mean, they're both decent good. blacks, but I think Prismacolor edged it out just a little bit. Which colors are the most visible on black? That's number four right here. And I tried to use the same five pencils here as I did over here and we're judging how opaque they are or how translucent. This helps you if you're coloring on a colored background or you're layering up over a base layer, you need to know this, that's why we do this. And I would say in general, these are much more opaque. Now sometimes you want a translucent pencil, so this doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad property of the pencils, it's just a property. And I'm always looking for a really good opaque pencil, so that's why I like to see this. So I'm going to give the win for the most visible on black to Prismacolor. Highest number of layers. Now this one's a little tricky because Yes, you want lots of layers, but you also want the color to lay down quickly and consistently and to feel like you can keep layering if you wanted to. So on both of these, I stopped when I felt like I was at full coverage 
And then I was also stopping over here because I couldn't go much more. It was starting to do, it feels almost like the pencil is skating on top of all the layers. That's the fillers and stuff building up and filling in the texture of the paper and a lot, making it so you can't do any more layers without a ton of work on top. So if you look, look how within six layers I got that deep full coverage, almost no white speckles. And then over here with seven layers, I still felt like there were speckles happening, but I came to a point where I would have had to have really leaned in and burnished to get that white speckleness to go away. So I'm going to, even though we got more layers here, that's not really the full story. What I'm learning is it takes fewer layers to get a more solid, beautiful lay down. Plus I could have kept going over here. Where over here, it took more layers to get a less satisfying color laid down on these rectangles. So again, Prismacolor for the win. Okay, fewest crumbs created. <laughs> I think we already talked about this. Prismacolor still creates some crumbs, you guys. It's not a crumb-free pencil, especially when you lean in heavy, but it's way fewer crumbs than the color it. So Prismacolor gets that point too. Pigment rubs off onto hand. This was pretty even. I held yeah. up my thumb at that certain point and I, you know, it wasn't like, whoa, that thumb yeah. has way more pigment. So I'm gonna give them each a point because it was about the same. All right, binders are least water soluble. That's down here on number eight. And you can see both had some movement when I added water to it. Oh, there, sorry, I'm trying to. <laughs> so here is the full color that I laid down with just medium pressure, and then you activate it, and that's how much color moved. I think if anything, Prismacolor moved more than Color It. So I guess we'll give Color It a point. Okay, next up is test number nine where we did the blend test with Jennifer's rule of blending thirds, which if you'd like to learn how to blend like I showed here during this test, I have a whole video that can teach you how to use this rule with worksheets you can download the whole thing. So here is the three colors blended together with Prismacolor and here they are with the color it pencils. Steve, which one do you prefer? Prismacolor. Me so too. A little smoother. Smoother and you guys, it was easier. <laughs> this one I had to work, I went back and forth a little bit between the orange and the yellow to get it to trans, to what's the word when you... Gradiate. To gradiate between the two colors. So not only does this one look better, it was easier to do, but you know, Prismacolors are well known for how beautiful they can blend out because they're so creamy. So. Prismacolor for the win on that one. Sharpens easily to a point. Both brands did great, and I tested a lot of different pencils, a lot of different colors, so I'm going to give them both a point for that. Holds a point without excessive sharpening. This one surprised me, you guys. As we were coloring down with like the reds here on the layering, I kept wishing I could cheat and stop and resharpen because I was having a really hard time keeping the point. Usually when I'm coloring like this, I'm constantly rotating the pencil to keep a sharp point against the paper. And this one I was rotating twice as much and I wished I could have sharpened sooner. So I was surprised. I thought for sure this one would last longer after you first sharpen, but it was the Prismacolor. So Prismacolor for the win on that one. Easy on the hand when coloring. So this one is kind of where you get to be really subjective and say which one you like to color with. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that the new color line of pencils is a step up in quality, both in color strength and also I think they are creamier than the original formula. So color has definitely taken a step forward. Well done. But as if I had to pick a set, they were both sitting here and I was ready to sit down and color. The Prismacolor is easier to color with, less sharpening. Um, it lays down much more creamy, especially when you lean in. You get f 
better coverage with every stroke and that's what I'm looking for because color pencil coloring is hard on our hands and we want an easy to use beautiful color blendable pencil and that is Prismacolor. So I'm going to give Prismacolor the point but I do want to make sure you understand that I'm impressed by the step up in quality that Color It has made with these new pencils. So I'm just going to count these up and I think we all know already who won. And there you go, we've got a score of 17 to seven. Now, again, your scores can and probably will be a little different because some of these are subjective and it might be different for the area or even the time of year. Sometimes pencils cost more or less at different times of the year. So keep that in mind. I highly recommend you download this sheet and use it the next time you want to compare two brands. It's very interesting. You learn a lot. Well, I hope you enjoyed this battle as much as I did and I hope you learned a little bit about color pencils. Would I recommend the Color It pencils? I think I would. They're, they come in a great case. They have beautiful colors, lots of fun colors, and yeah, they're a pretty good value. Um, would I still steer you towards the Prismacolor Premier if you, if you could wait and save up for a little bit longer? I think in the end you would be happier with the Prismacolor Premier pencils, as the score showed. But these are a decent alternative for a more budget, smaller set of pencils. So thanks again for joining us. Don't forget to get your entries in for that giveaway because we're going to announce the winner on March 3rd. So you only have until midnight mountain time to get your <laughs> entries in on March 2nd, 2022. Did I say that right, Steve? You did. Thank you so much, Steve, for doing all the tech work. There's a blog, there's links to everything, the coloring pages, the worksheets, it's all there. So come on over to Coloring Bliss, and I hope you have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>